Hi Chapel friends, it's me again, Miss April, with this week's Chapel Story. Today, friends, I want to talk to you about being brave. Can you do that with me? Be brave. Yeah, there are times in our lives, friends, where we need to be brave. We need to stand up to do what's right. Because there will be people that are trying to get us to make wrong choices and to do what's wrong. But with God's help, we can be brave. You got it. In Ephesians 6.10, it says, Finally, be strong in the Lord and in his mighty power. If we have God on our side, we can be strong and brave. Yes, because he is full of mighty power. Can you join me today as we journey to the city of Babylon, where we will meet three friends. Their names are Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego were three governors in the land of Babylon. And the king at the time was King Nebuchadnezzar. King Nebuchadnezzar liked Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, and he put them into very important positions in the land. Well, one day, King Nebuchadnezzar had an idea, and his idea was to have a statue built. A golden statue of none other than King Nebuchadnezzar himself. Wow, this statue was huge. In fact, it was 90 feet tall. Can you say, wow? Yeah, and it was made of gold. And it was a statue of the king. And King Nebuchadnezzar made a ruling in the land. He said when the orchestra music played that everyone around should bow down to his golden statue. And if they didn't bow down to this, his golden statue, they would be thrown into the fiery furnace. And you say, oh no. Yeah. That would not be good. Well, you see, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, they knew that they weren't to bow down to anyone other than the real, true, living God. So one day when the music played, everyone bowed down to King Nebuchadnezzar's golden statue. Everyone, that is, except for Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. Well, some people saw this, and they went straight to the king, and they said to the king, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, do not bow down to your statue. So King Nebuchadnezzar ordered for Shadrach and Meshach and Abednego to come and see him. And he asked them, did you not bow down to my golden statue? And they said, no, we did not. We are only to bow down and worship the true and living God. Well, King Nebuchadnezzar decided to give his friends one more chance. And he said, I will give you one more chance to bow down to my golden statue. But Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego said they would not do it. And this made King Nebuchadnezzar very, very mad. In fact, he said to make the fiery furnace seven times hotter than it was before. Can you say with me, oh no. He had Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego bound up. That means their hands and feet were tied together and thrown in to the fiery furnace. Well, King Nebuchadnezzar looked into the fiery furnace and he said, didn't we put three people into the fiery furnace? And his helper said, well, of course, yes, we only put three people into the fiery furnace. He said, but then why do I count four? There are four people in the fiery furnace. Count with me, friends. One, two, three, four. Sure 
enough, inside the fiery furnace was Jesus, the Son of God himself. He had come down to protect his friends Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. Well, King Nebuchadnezzar ordered for Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego to come out of that fiery furnace, and they did. And when King Nebuchadnezzar looked at Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, he was amazed because not a hair on their heads had burned. In fact, they didn't even smell like smoke. Well, praise be to the true and living God. King Nebuchadnezzar made a new order that day, and he then told the people of the land that they should only worship Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego's true and living, powerful God. Wow, friends. Shadrach and Meshach and Abednego had to be pretty brave when they were facing that fiery furnace. They were brave because they knew their God was with them. And because of that, they were blessed and protected by King, by our Lord and King Jesus. In James 1, 12 in our Bibles, it says, God blesses those who patiently endure testing and temptation. Afterward, they will receive the crown of life that God has promised to those who love him. That means, my friends, that God blesses us. When we go through hard times and tests, tests that are difficult, okay, God blesses us in the end. We just have to hang on to him and know that when we go through those hard times, he's walking right beside us. Can you wave your hands in the air like you just don't care? Clap them together. Put them in front of your belly button, beep, beep, and close your eyes really tight and pray after me. Dear God, thank you for being our protector and our defender. Thank you for helping us to be brave and to be strong because you are. We know that no matter what, we should always do what's right and that you will be there right beside us. We love you, Jesus, and we pray all of these things in your awesome and powerful name. Amen. Friends, that's all I have for you today. Remember this week to be brave, and I'll see you again next week.